ਹੈਲੋ ਗਾਇਸ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਅਨਦਰ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਚੈਨਲ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਵਾਰ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਤੇ ਬੈਲ ਆਈਕਨ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਦਬਾਉਣਾ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੀ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਵੀਡੀਓਜ਼ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮਿਸ ਨਾ ਕਰ ਪਾਓ ਤੇ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਯਾਰ ਚੈਨਲ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਕਰ ਦੇਣਾ ਯਾਰ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੇ ਨਿਕਲ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹੋ ਚੈਨਲ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਚੈਨਲ ਹੁਣੇ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਕਰੋ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਲਾਲ ਬਟਨ ਥੱਲੇ ਪਿਆ ਨੂੰ ਹਿੱਟ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਤੇ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਆਪਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਹੈਗੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿੰਗ ਕਿ 10 10 ਬਿਗੈਸਟ ਲਾਈਜ਼ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਬੰਗਲਾਦੇਸ਼ 10 ਵੱਡੇ ਝੂਠ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੰਗਲਾਦੇਸ਼ ਬਾਰੇ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਸੋਚਦੀ ਹੈ ਵੈਸਟਰਨ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਸੋਚਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਔਨ ਚੈਨਲ ਲਾਈਕ ਐਫਟੀਡੀ ਫੈਕਟਸ ਸੋ ਡੂ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਯਰ ਚੈਨਲ ਟੂ ਗਾਇਸ ਤੇ ਵਿਦਾਊਟ ਦੇਰੀ ਕੀਤੇ ਵੀ ਅੱਛਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਦੂਸਰਾ ਚੈਨਲ ਇੰਦਰ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵੀ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਲਿੰਕ ਥੱਲੇ ਪਿਆ ਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਦੇ ਵੱਲ ਫੈਲਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਵੱਲ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸੋ ਲੈਟਸ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਗਾਇਸ Bangladesh is an amazing country with a great people and an eventful history. And over the years many misconceptions and preconceived notions have formed about Bangladesh and we're continuing our series of videos exploring this country yeah. but this time I'll be shedding light on 10 yeah, of the biggest up. lies and misconceptions about the country of Bangladesh. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and honestly much love to our viewers from Bangladesh. You guys have been asking for more. So I'm excited to share this video with you guys because I also held some of these misconceptions. So it was really cool to actually clear them up for myself as well. So job, either man. way guys let's jump into this starting at number 10 this lie is that Bangladeshi people speak Hindi nee, Now nee. this one is apparently big from Indians the second most widely spoken language is English and the most spoken language is Bengali However as Hindi and Bengali are rooted from the same language family and Bollywood movies and TV shows are really really popular in Bangladesh Well of course that has influenced Bangladeshi people and yep. whether they can speak Hindi or not well most of them Bengali can at least understand do. it. Lie number 9 is citizens are called Bengalis. Well its citizens are actually called Bangladeshi and this is regardless of gender distinction in the English language at least. However the native people to the region of Bengal the Indo-Aryan ethnic group they can speak the Bengali language but it's called Bangla in Bengali they are known as Bengalis but if you're a citizen of Bangladesh the correct term is Bangladeshi moving on to number 8 Bangladesh is part of India oh no 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 although the entire western portion and northern portion and most of the eastern part of Bangladesh is kind of surrounded by India it is not part of India India is its neighbor. Moving on to lie at number 7, Bangladesh is dangerous for visitors. Well, let's take a look guys. According to the Global Peace Index ranking of 2020, which is the most up-to-date ranking they have at the time of filming this episode, Bangladesh actually ranks 98 out of 161 ranked countries in terms of peace. This is much higher than the United States, for instance, who ranks 117 out of 161 countries. So according to this scale, people are generally safer in Bangladesh than they would be in the United States anyways. Now, the lie number 6, you know, surprisingly many people actually think this. Bangladesh is an way? island. But, you know, just even looking at the term they, Bangladesh, the word money. Bangladesh refers to the land or country of Bengal. and nothing about it explicitly says it's an island so i don't necessarily know where this misconception <laughs> came from but yeah it's still one that exists and i had to include it in this list now halfway in number 5 we have the weather is always great and beautiful in bangladesh yeah let's talk about it. this is a very popular perception especially from those of western countries but the people of bangladesh will tell you that due to its weather there are some natural disasters mm -hmm. that you might want to watch out for for example each year bangladesh faces different sorts of calamities and natural disasters like flooding cyclones as well as droughts these are all pretty common now its people especially the rural people unfortunately they suffer the most because they just lack some of the resources to actually fight against these natural disasters we've gone out to number 4 bangladesh is a dry country Well yeah, it's a hot country for sure, yeah, but definitely little, far yeah. from dry. This is also another western perception. The warmest months coincide with the rainy season which is between April to September, while the winter season, December to February, they're colder and drier, 
but Bangladesh is a very Definitely, wet man. country and it receives an average of 2,000 200 millimeters of rainfall per year. We also have a lot of canals and rivers located in the country. The Layat number three, famine is common in Bangladesh. So there was a point in history after independence where Bangladesh faced a famine, but this happened only once. This was back in the year 1974. And this was a period of mass starvation when approximately 27,000 people lost their lives. And this is according to government estimates but that's really the only time that famine has struck the country of bangladesh bangladesh is a hindu country this is a lie number two well you see when we look at the figures bangladesh well the majority of them identify as muslim 89.1 percent while the second largest religious group is hinduism which is roughly 10 percent and about 0.9 percent of the population identifies as other religions including buddhism and christianity so no it is not a Hindu country. Now we end off this episode with the lie at number one. West Bengal is in Bangladesh. When those living outside of Bangladesh, they hear the term West Bengal, it's commonly assumed to be in reference to the western part of Bangladesh. However, this is not the case. West Bengal is actually a state in eastern India between the Himalayas and the Bay of Bengal. Its capital city is Kolkata. And some of this confusion actually does come from the time of the partition of India. The Hindu majority West Bengal became a state of India at that time. And simultaneously, the Muslim majority East Bengal, which is now known as Bangladesh, became a province of Pakistan in the year 1947. Then the proclamation of Bangladeshi independence in March of 1971 led to East Pakistan becoming the People's Republic of Bangladesh. So yeah, hope that clarifies all the confusion about these. Thanks for hanging out with me in another episode here on FTD Facts. We just looked at 10 of the biggest lies about Bangladesh. Be sure to leave your comments down below about anything mentioned in this video. And also before you head out, leave a like. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified when new videos are posted. Until next time, guys, stay awesome, Thanks, stay bro. educated. Uh, both See you real videos soon. here are uh, quite informative. They like, uh, uh, I know like most of the facts, I don't know, kere bande can they ki uh, Bangladesh is a dry country or is an island. Like, uh, fair the total geography, you know, bohat buri hoigi. They like, kuch pata hi nahi. Like, of course, hi galle like. Uh, Western countries, which like Asian countries, they are very cut. I think they are a grave country. Hi te, comparatively, thanks to this video, uh, they clear the facts that they are not going to be to be able to do this. So, I don't know what I am So, uh, quite informative video. I will like video ki, like at least uh, say say the Sierra Glibandane, right? कुछ भी गलत नहीं सीधे जी, so वही हो सी मेरे रिएक्शन अगर चंगा लगा तो प्लीज लाइक कर देना, ते कमेंट करके दस ना के अगली कड़ी वीडियो रिएक्शन दीजिए, ते केड़ा फैक्ट थोड़ा तो अनु नहीं सी पता, जो आज इस वीडियो में देख के वो तो चल गया, जा क्लियर हो गया, कमेंट करके जरूर दस ना, मिलते हैं किसी और वीडियो, टेल देन बाय